the growing developer. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel, The Growing Developer and yet another part of this GetX series. Now in this part, we learn about state management. We have some concepts and some terms that we need to know about the state management which we, we will which we will use in this GetX series is GetBuilder, GetX and OBX. So GetX and OBX, let's just keep it aside for some time. We learn about this GetBuilder, what is GetBuilder, what are GetX controller and something like that. Okay. So get builder is something like uh, have if you if you know about providers and consumers, it's sort of like that only. That get builder works on some kind of uh, initializing a controller, and then you can find that controller from anywhere and actually do the stuff. Okay. So how to actually do that? So right now this is the count value and when I'll press on this uh, increment the value it should increase the count value there is no count value right now so let's quickly create a new package I'll name it as controllers okay inside this controller I'll create a new file that file name it as a count controller maybe Dot, dot. it is actually one of the easiest way to like just simply increment the values if you want to if you want me to do something else we'll do that and when we'll build some real world application using this getx right so i'll quickly uh, don't need to import anything i guess so i'll write class count controller what is a count count controller it should extends a get uh, getx controller right that's it. So what is a getx controller? Getx controller is something like which will control all your states. What are states? Don't confuse yourself with state. These are not like heavy words. State is nothing but value. Okay. In a Flutter application, state is nothing but values. So that means if I have an integer value which says the count equals to zero, I should always give an initial value so my initial value so this is a state if my count value changes for some event that means my state changes my value is changing that's it don't consume confuse yourself with some heavy terms as state and state management state management means value management how you're managing the values how there are the changes in the values okay makes sense now getx controllers uh, do the stuff like the get builder will build upon this controller okay the get builder will build upon this controller and will take care of all the stuff like uh, what is happening and uh, what is the value and how it is being updated okay so i should create a method which says increment counter okay and this should just simply do count plus plus simple okay now that's one thing but we have to call this update method now this update method is something which will update all the listeners to this getx controller right makes sense so this is about the getx controller let's go to our get builder so what i will do is before this i'll write get builder okay get builder now inside this get builder we have the builder property it will take up my controller and then I should just return a text which says count value is so I'll put a string interpolation I'll write controller dot count okay so what is this we didn't got any uh, like uh, suggestions for it so one thing that we need to do is in this get builder i have to give it generic types and name it as what is the name of our controller count controller that's it now you can see that it changes the color that it is now keeping it as count right so yeah that's uh, very much everything so let's save this and we get some errors no such method error the getter 
count was called a null. It will not get right golly. Now this controller is yet not initialized. We have to initialize somewhere. So I'll write uh, count controller controller equals to get dot put. Now in here I have to put which dependency I want. So I'll write count controller. So I've initialized this count controller here. Now this count controller is available in our RAM memory. Let's save this once again or rather I should restart this. Let's see how it works. So I'll go to this get builder and now you can see that count value is zero. It is playing count value is zero. Let me just copy this style. I'll delete this text from here. I no longer want this text. And after this, I can put my style like this. Okay, so count value is right now zero, right? So I should now update this. So on press of it, I'll simply do controller dot increment counter. That's it, simple. Now the value is getting updated. That is pretty simple. Now what if I just remove this controller? The problem arises that it cannot find my controller. This is fine. This much is fine, right? Our controller is now initialized. Now it can do that. But I cannot find the controller here. Inside this kit builder, I can find it. But outside it, I cannot. So how to do that? I can find the get controller from anywhere using get dot find. Here I have to put like a count controller, which controller I need to find. And then after that, I can simply call this increment controller. Let's save this and see if it works or not. So it is working fine. So what is this find method actually doing? So this get.find will get me the controller. So whenever we are getting the controller or whenever we are actually making the controller, what happens is that the controller when initialized is saved into a RAM and then this find method will find the controller from the RAM and then do the methods. Now there is some problem here. Our controller was initialized but if I'll close and reopen my application it will give me the error that the controller is yet not initialized. So what we need to do is inside this get builder we have this init method and I can write count controller and initialize it here simple so our work is now saved right so whenever we'll get this uh, well whenever we'll get to this page our get builder will just initialize the count controller and then I can access this count controller from anywhere using this get dot find and then call the respective methods so that's all about the get builder now we'll learn about get x and then obx and then we will see what are the difference between them in the next video so stay tuned hope you like this video hope you learn something from this video any doubts write in the comment section i'll try to reply as soon as possible if you have some bigger doubts or if you have some bigger errors you can always send me those error logs in my through my social panels right so thank you so much for watching this video hope you like this video so goodbye the link for the previous videos and the next video will be in the description. Thank you so much.